Hi everyone, I have an unboxing today. And yes, the camera angle's awkward, but we're just gonna have to suffer through it. Um, I got this doll uh, a few months ago and um, she's been sat in the box. Yep. I broke my golden rule and I bought from a, I won't call them a scalper, but a reseller, basically a scalper. They, she wasn't as overpriced as she could have been. And she got sent directly from June Moon to me. So, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a thing. Um, I'm a bit nervous, you know, because uh, she fancy. Fancy. Um, pardon that interruption. Um, yeah, here she is. Um, wow. I almost don't want to open her. She's uh, she's uh. Right now, she's full of possibilities, and the main possibility is that maybe her hair's not disgusting. But, uh, let's see if I can... I just don't, I don't want to get my boobs in the shot because I don't want to put a bra on. And also, oh, sorry about all this. Here we go. Okay. She comes with the usual bit of paper. It's got a lacy stand thing. Oh, and some kind of envelope on the back of the box. I like how shiny it is. Very shiny inside, very shiny. Stop moving. I'm going to cut this thing off the back. That's an envelope. I'm guessing it's some kind of yay anniversary card or something. A 20th anniversary card. Long live Blythe. Here's to the next 20 years. Very cute. That's going to live in this box forever. Oh, great. Let's put it back in this. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to fold envelopes anymore. Just get in there. Get in the bag. There. Perfect. And now my fingerprints are all over the tape, so someone can frame me for crimes or something. If I ever sell this doll. Right. Just cutting all the bits of tape very carefully so that I can get the plastic bit bags out. Oh, 
Well, that was useless. Here's me thinking, oh yeah, my washi tape cutting skills are coming in really handy. No, no, they're not. Nothing's working. Okay, what's this? This is her black dress, I'm guessing. Let's get this tape off there. Because that's gonna, that could get on the clothes and we don't want that. Eh, it's stuck to me. Uh, it's uh, either a dress or a skirt, but it's very nice. I like it. And this is tights or a bolero. It's a little crop top. Uh, it's so kind of wonky. It's so really wonky. Wow, that's a bit shit to be honest. Not impressed with that. Like, maybe it looks better on. But um, yeah, it looks pretty wonky to me. And you can't really see it because of the contrast, but one side is longer than the other. Right, now to deal with all this crap. She's all right, she's secured in. <sighs> Damage the box. I mean, not significantly, but it's still annoying. I don't know why I'm filming this, but I'll stop and I'll come back. Okay, she's free. As predicted, her hair's pretty fucking awful. Um, it's kind of... It doesn't really feel greasy, but it's really clumpy. So I'm hoping it'll be okay after a good brushing. But I feel like it might need a spa treatment. Her face is very pretty. This dress has... It's, it's not great. It's got a mark there. It doesn't fit her top properly. Like it, it's, it's just been made a bit too wide up here. Um, I'm guessing that the petticoat has a slit specifically because the dress does. Um, but like, I'm quite disappointed really in the quality of this. It's uh, it's probably a good thing that they are no longer going to be Takara Tomy. I'm just going to say that. Um, the overdress I took off. It's it's cute, but again, it's not brilliantly finished. There's a lot of sort of loose bits and not the quality that you would expect from a doll of this value. Yeah. Okay, probably shouldn't have put my arm down on my craft knife. The tights are cute. I like the tights. Very nice. The jewellery is quite cute. Um, the little bracelet. Uh, it even has a fastening. I mean, okay. Or is that a necklace? Oh, maybe it's a necklace. Yeah, it's a necklace. Okay. Well, that's going to be fun to put on her. Not. And the earrings are cute. And they came on a little thing. Except one of them had come off. Like a little holdery thing. Um, but they're very nice. Her shoes are just those generic sort of platforms. And these are 
clear with gold glitter. They're okay. I like the little sash. Again, it's just a bit shoddy. It's all just a bit shoddy. Um, we already looked at this. And... Oh no, those are supposed to be loopy. Um, this one might actually be... Uh, maybe not. Like, they haven't even cut it straight there. Hmm. Bit shit, to be honest. Um. And the cape, I'm amazed at how small it was folded up. And um, because it's printed, I feel like if I'd left it in that little packet for longer, it could well fuse together. Um it's gonna need ironing it's nice i like the little crown um some of the jewels are wonky i mean you know why do a thing properly when you can charge an arm and a leg for something that's shit <sighs> and we'll still buy it that's proven by moi let's just move that and yeah so she's got Oh, I like her little charm. That's cute. And we've got blue eye chips. They're black. They're fully black. Stare into the void. I can't tell. I think they're grey. And brown. So yeah, I like her blue chips. These are freaky. I think they're just extremely dark brown. But I'm honestly not sure. I might have to shine a torch on them. Um, yeah, no, her hair feels awful. <sighs> I kind of wish I hadn't opened her now. Like, in the box she had so much potential. And out of the box she's just disappointing. I do like the skin colour. Um, um, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure I like her lips that much. So yeah, there we go. The box opening I was putting off and probably should never have done. Uh, thanks for joining me. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>